Hi guys, welcome to this video about calamaris. Calamaris is one not from us. It's developed by many Linux distributions together and calamaris can be found on github.com calamaris slash calamaris. If there are things that you'd like to change, or even language translations and extra functionality, it's make a create, create an account wow, on GitHub and ask them, right? Ask to for the changes you'd like to see in Calamaris. We use it, well, every, can all, almost say that we are really following the code as it is provided to us. So the very last snapshot of code is what you get inside ArcLinks. Now, somebody yesterday told me, Eric, when we click this, we don't see this thing, right? In an ideal world, everything works, right? It can be also maybe hidden behind something else if you open something up, but as you see, I can't hide it behind this one. But if you open something else, and then of course it's gone. So make sure that it's not opened, that it's not behind anything. A, a super tap sometimes helps and alt tap helps as well, right? Super tap, alt tap, the common key bindings. Now, what if this actually does not work, right? It's important for us because the Arclix welcome app, AWA, AWA, is gonna change things for us. There are different approaches in the Linux distributions if you go and compare, but we are not gonna change a complete folder, but we're gonna overwrite files, so very um, less in, in, in intervention, so to speak, right? So if you want to have an offline, we're gonna overwrite a file. If you're gonna install advanced installation, we are gonna overwrite a Calamaris file. So you can go online. And the same happens here if you want to have grub, etc. Right? We just override things. Now, what if this isn't there? No problem. Like anything else, it's somewhere in our system. And let's have a look. Where can I find it? Or do we have to search for it? System, probably. Right. So here are the guys. Installer for Arclix. It is an app. Apps go in user share applications, and if they're there, you'll get it in the menu of Mate, Plasma, and so on. And the one, well, if there's no issue, we don't need a debugging link for you or from you. But if um, you say, I've tried it for several times and there's always an error, right? That's the one we need, the debug version. So installer for Arclix debug gives us more information than install Arclix. So you choose, I'm gonna go for the debug now. And then this will happen. You will get Calamaris, but as you see, the advanced is not selected. So by default, you will have an installed system, let's do that. But it will be the easy one the easy version, and it will be the grub one, which has been our way of booting up the last six years. No problems whatsoever, right? So trust in grub, and also trust in our Pac-Man hooks, because that's all it needs, an up-to-date grub, and everything is just fine. So there we go. That's another way for you to launch it. And it's this information that we need. This is the debugging. We have more information and if it fails somehow because of things, in this case, this is the easy installation, which means it's on the beach installation, no internet required, which means less parameters than can crash it. If you go for advanced, there is your internet, your firewall, the country's firewall. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the list goes on, keys, Arch, Linux servers, maybe Arch Linux servers, anything that it needs, and Pac-Man with all its conflicts and dependencies, right? Anything can break an installation, but this will ever always work because this is the easy installation with Grub. Let's wait for, to see if it actually is installing. 
and then we reboot. What do we get if we do it like this? We get grub, Linux Zen, we get XFCE because eh, what you see is what you get, the WYSIWYG approach. And then the first thing we have to do in VirtualBox is go to the display and make this a little bit bigger. Depending on your resolution, you choose. Et voila. And let's end with a sudo use to repeat the new way of sharing information. Well, first of all, right, update. That makes sense. Oops, <laughs> no thank you. But when I retype it, it'll be better for ending the video. Uh, come on, bigger. So we've started with the ISO of 240511. The ISO is called Arconet. It was built on April the 16th. We've chosen for UFI, of course, it's a virtual machine. X11 is XFCE, there is no Wayland stuff on here. Boot system is Grub. We have two kernels that we can remove with the remove script. And Active Display Manager is SDM. There is no NVIDIA, of course, for Showbox. So that's okay that it's not found because it's not needed. And voila. We've installed our Arclex and then it's fun and games. That means there is the Archlex welcome, sure, tweet tool, Sofiram, and even the Arclex application Glade. All our apps are present on the RISO and we are gonna promote it a little bit more. Alright, have fun.